Um, next, um, we have our speaker. Um, um, I for, forget his name. Um, he'll be t well, anyway, he'll be talking about... Um, he will tell you, he will tell you, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> it's exactly how you don't want to do it, right? Today I'm gonna to share with you how to introduce the next speaker in a group presentation. What's the best way to do it? Let's find out. So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss future videos. So today I'm going to share with you four major parts that you need to very masterfully introduce the next speaker in the group presentation. And then by the end, I'm going to give you two examples. One is the short version and one is the longer version. So the first part, you want to share the name and the credibility of your next speaker, right? You want them to come in with a wow that the audience can trust them and can believe them. And it can be very short. It could be very simple that our next speaker is Joe and Joe has been the social media manager for our company for the last seven years. The second part you want to be sharing with the audience is what is the topic? What is the purpose that the next speaker is actually going to be talking about? And when you share this, you want to be very crystal clear. Yeah, it should be to the point and should also be interesting for the audience as well. So for example, I could say, Joe is going to be introducing to you today the social media marketing strategy for the next two years. And then the third part you have to share is why should they care? You know, why should the audience listen to the next speaker at all? Why should they be interested at all? Why should they care? It's so important that you share that with them because it builds up the momentum that they will be more interested in the next speaker's presentation, the next speaker's talk. Yes, yeah, you could be saying something like this. Why should you care? everyone. Well, Joe is going to share with you, you know, the three major secrets, how we can make the next social media a big, big success. When I heard about them, I was excited. I know you will enjoy it too. And number four, you want to have a smooth transfer. Yeah. So one way to do it, let's say it's a high energy presentation. You could be saying something like that. All right, everybody, here's Joe. Let's give him a big hand and you get the audience to clap for Joe. Now this works very well if the nature of the presentation is high energy. Yeah, another way to do it with a high energy presentation is you could give him a big hand and then when you pass Joe, you give Joe a high five, boom, and you transfer over. But again, the transfer should be very smooth. By the way, if the presentation is more negative, more of a problem presentation that you have to present to the audience, and this happened in business, right? Then very simply, you wanna just simply introduce, right? And next, welcome Joe. And then you move on, okay? No clapping, no high five. That doesn't match a problem presentation. So again, make sure you have a smooth transition. So let me share with you two examples of how you can actually apply these four steps, okay? The first one is the short version, yes? So let me introduce to you our next speaker, everyone. Our next speaker is gonna be Joe. He's been our social media manager for the last seven years. And very exciting today, he will be sharing with you the social media plan for the next two years. So let's give Joe a big hand. So the second example, that's the longer version. And really, you saw in the first short version, I'm not really gonna use part number three, where I go into detail about why should they care. In the longer version though, when it's very important that you build up the next speaker, that's exactly what we want to do. So let me give you a quick example here. All right, everyone, our next speaker is gonna be Joe. Joe has been our social media manager for the last seven years. You know him, I know him, we can all get excited. Today, Joe will be talking about the social media marketing strategy for the next two years. And why should you care? Well, today he's gonna to share with you the three secrets, how he's really gonna make that a success and how it's not just great for him and his team, but it's great for the whole company, for every single person in this room. I was very shocked when I heard these three secrets when we prepared for today's presentation. I'm very excited, I know you will be very excited. So let's give a warm, warm welcome to our social media manager, Joe. Let's give him a big hand. Okay, and a high five, bam. <laughs> So comment down below one time, what will you do differently from now on when you present the next speaker? What did you learn? Share it with me down below. Again, 
these are just a couple of examples. There are so many different options to use these four parts, these four steps, really. Yeah, share with me down below on time what did you learn from them. Again, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.